Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and today what we're talking about are dangerous fish to eat. Well, I don't know if we should say that. Uh, basically fish that have a high mercury level. Mercury is very bad for you and a lot of the, the apex predators in their little uh, group, you know, their little area of the sea quite often pick up more uh, toxins than the you know the bottom of the food chain basically so most of the things that we're catching that we go to eat are obviously predators of some sort and uh, they pick up a lot of these uh, uh, they, they pick up a lot of mercury and mercury is real bad for you it gives you give brain damage you know kidney problems lung problems uh, spinal cord issues there's a lot of bad things that happen from eating too much uh, mercury so we just want to cover today some of those fish this doesn't mean don't eat them necessarily it just means you know it's just like anything else you just have more moderate intake of these types of fish uh, if they're some of the ones you like the most so let's just go ahead and check it out all right florida fish the high and low mercury levels um which ones have them all right so here's the really high category the really high category is kingfish, albacore tuna, cobia, sharks, Spanish mackerel, marlin, bluefish, swordfish. And this is the one that hurts me is the grouper. I love grouper. Grouper, um, jack creval. You know, a lot of people don't eat jack creval, but I know a lot of people that do. They fillet them up and soak them in milk and say they're delicious. I've never actually had it. Uh, tilefish and then amber jacks so those are the ones that have the higher uh, mercury levels in them that uh, you know if you eat a lot of them maybe you want to eat less of them now let's go over to the low mercury levels and this is great because i sure love these two uh, dolphin relatively low mercury level flounder another low mercury level the vermilion snapper out of the snapper family for some reason has very low mercury level Triple tail, trigger fish also have very low uh, mercury levels. Now here's the weird thing about fish. Fish have a lot of selenium in them. Selenium actually breaks down mercury in the body. So, you know, uh, that's why you could still have all these fish because they're, they're healthy to an extent. Uh, you know, all the, all the omega-3 fats and all the good things that come with fish and selenium. So again, this is just, you know, information I, I looked up online here to give, uh, uh, you know, to do this video for everybody if you eat a lot of fish. Uh, but basically, selenium helps, um, you know, there's a lot of pros to eating fish too. Just got to do it in, um, you know, you just can't eat, eat too much of it. You got to do it in moderation. So anyways, I wasn't supposed to scare everybody away from eating fish or fishing. It's just, you know, I was looking it up online because, you know, I'm down here in Port St. Lucie area and we just have this horrible problem with this blue-green algae and all this crap that's in our water right now. And it got me to thinking about how does this affect fish and, you know, we eat the fish, so what happens? So I really just wanted to do this when um, I was curious about it and figured you might be curious about it too. So when I looked all this stuff up online, I was kind of surprised about some of the species that were and were not on here but anyways uh you can find more of this information right on our website it's www.fisherassoff.com there's a how to section a where to section a what to section videos you know we, we got it all on there so if you want to learn more about fishing the whole idea of the website is it's simple tips to help fishermen catch more fish so go ahead and check it out but uh, i think that's it for me for today so until next time We'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.